In this video, we are going to continue with the rules of differentiation and do the second part of the chain rule. You will find this on page 264 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now let's look at a bit a more advanced example. In the previous video, we were looking at the chain rule, the basic and some basic examples. So find the derivatives of dA over dt. Can you see I changed the variables a little bit? So a equals 1 over, and it's a cube root, with t to the power of 4 plus 3t. Okay, let's look at the example. First going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So in this example, the first thing, I don't like roots and I don't like the variables to be in the denominator. So I must get rid of the roots and I must take this to the numerator. Okay, so first get rid of the root. Take it to fraction form. So basically, put that in a bracket, put it over 1 over, and it's a cube root, so that's 3. And now you can take it up by changing it to a negative. So now it's ready to differentiate. Now I'm going to use my chain rule. So use that u for the inside. So separate your functions. And your first one will be a equals u to the power of negative a third. Now differentiate this one. So negative a third u, remember, remember, this will be, I'm just writing it in, negative a third and you know, I just want to put it better. You know, I always like to subtract if I say, so it's negative 4 over 3. This one, du over dt, and this is going to be 4, t to the power of 3 plus 3t. And now just multiply this two. And if you multiply this two, you can just put u back. So put the u, substitute it back, the bracket. And then basically I was just rearranging it. And I can get rid of that negative by bringing it down, taking it back to the root notation. And that's the 3 in the bracket on the outside is the 4. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do the following three examples. You can do 6a, d and f. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller for my writing. Okay, let's start. Let's start with number a. So it's also a, and it's going to be t squared plus 1. Okay, let's break it up into two functions. So it's, now, before we do that, okay, let me, I, I'm rather going to do it, doesn't matter, I can do, take it out of the root first. And now I break it up. And u is the inside of the bracket. Just concentrate on your variables. Put on this side, the one on the left hand side, put it on top. The one on the right hand side, put it at the bottom. And this is going to be a half. And u, don't forget, it's neg a half minus 1 or minus 2 over 2, so it's negative a half. This is going to be du, concentrate, by dt, and it's going to be 2t. Okay, then I'm going to multiply. I can show it, but it's not necessary. So I can just say, because the u's will cancel out, so it's dA by dt. And I'm just bringing it back. Um, you can basically, um, I, I like to do it, so put already your U. Um, I'm, I'm going to even do it like this. I'm going to bring it down, so it will be U to the power of a half. But then if I bring it in, the, it's like this. Okay, then it's more simple if you substitute. 
and then um, multiply to t. And now I can, now remember this is over 1, so the 2t will be on top. Sorry. And put the u back, substitute the u back, there it is. And what do you see here? Do you see that the 2's cancel? Maybe you see it already, or you saw it already. So it's going to be 2. And it's just going to be over that root. And that's going to be my final answer. Okay. That was number A. Let's move on to number B. No, not B, D. Okay, number D. It's a Y. More familiar. 1 over 4. Remember, the variables cannot be in the denominator. So in this case, I'm going to put it in brackets, put 1, and now bring, in, bring it up to the numerator. Okay, and now again I'm going to do the chain rule. Chain rule is excellent because I cannot multiply this out. So y is equal to, put a u to the negative 1, and then what will u be? u will be 4x3 plus 70. So now I'm going to differentiate both function, dy over du, and it's negative 1, and if you subtract 1, it's negative 2. And du over to dx, and that's going to be 12, x squared, constant becomes 0. Okay, and now I'm just going to multiply this two, to follow the chain rule. Okay, and again, if you do it here, so do you see negative 1 times 12, so it's negative 12, but again, see that you can take u down and make it square, okay, and there was also my x square, and if I simplify this a little bit further, I will get negative 12 x square, and I have my brackets, and what is my brackets, u, let's just find u again, 4 x 3, oh sorry, plus 17, and that will be, don't forget your square. Okay, that will be your final answer. Okay, the last one, let's do number F. Number F. It's again a Y. Okay, two things. Remember, we don't like a root when we differentiate. And the other thing is we don't want the variables to be in the denominator. We take it to the numerator. Okay, later on we come to other rules, but in this chapter, that's what we will remember. So there's my 4. There's my x squared plus x plus 10. I think take it first out. You can do it in one step, but... Just for this video's sake, I'm going to make it in two steps. Okay, because remember, put that in a bracket, then it's one. If you and then it's one over four. And as soon as you bring it up, then it's going to be x squared plus x plus ten, and that will be to the power of negative a quarter. And now I'm going to break it up. And now I'm going to say y is equal to u, and it's a negative a quarter. And what is u? u is the bracket, inside of the bracket. So it will be x squared plus x plus 10. So dy over du 
I differentiate to you. Now, there's the negative a quarter, which I multiply with the one there. And then don't forget, and I'm, I'm just writing it here that you see. Mm, I wish I had a space there. But let's do it. So it's negative. I want to do it in another color. Negative a quarter minus 4 over 4. You see what I always say? It's negative 5 over 4. I'm just doing it on the side. So it's going to be u. Uh, okay, let's just see where I'm at. Oh, this is the quarter. And then it's u. And it's negative 5 over 4. And if I differentiate here, I get du by dx. And that's 2x plus 1. And if I multiply this to dy by dx, and now I'm just going to say negative a quarter, and now I'm going to just put, you can put this in brackets. Okay, um, I, I would prefer uh, if you bring the u already down. Um, yes. Uh, let me see. Now, let's leave it like this. No, let's bring it down. It's all right. So it's u, then it's 5 over 4. It becomes positive because it's now in the denominator. And then multiply by that 2x plus 1. Put it in brackets. And now remember, this is over 1, so it's like it's on top. Let me just move this here. So then it's going to, don't forget, don't throw your negative away. So negative, there's the bracket. 2x plus 1, uh, there is your 4, please don't cancel, it's inside that bracket, so um, yeah, I think, no, 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 it's two terms, don't, don't do that, okay, so, and then just now bring it back to your root notation, so what is u, let me, let's first get there, so that will be 4, and the brackets will be 5. Okay, and what will be the inside? So let's just see what u was. It there is u. Can you see that? Let's let's rather make it in red. That was um, x squared plus x plus ten. Okay, and that was basically my final answer. Really practice it, the chain rule. It's going to help you a lot and it's really not that difficult.